Welcome back. In this video here, I'm going to cover the frequently asked question that I get. What's better, the Rogue EcoBike or the Concept2 Bike Gerg? I'm going to cover what I like best about each of these bikes, but make sure you watch all to the end because my final recommendation might surprise you. So let's get started. After owning the Rogue EcoBike for over two years now, I can say it's one of the best air bikes out there. It's a fan bike that you will see often in many home gyms because it's sturdy and effective. So the Rogue EcoBike was one of the first piece of conditioning equipment banned by Rogue Fitness, as they've historically stuck with just strength training equipment. So the question is, if this will be one of many conditioning equipment to come by Rogue Fitness, only time will tell. Now, taking a look at their close competition. The EcoBike is arguably more solid, quieter and smoother than its competitors, as it seems to take the best features of the Schwinn Airdyne Pro and the Salt Air Bike and combine them into one awesome piece of exercise equipment. This bike is way above its average spin bike, and it's several steps above your run-of-the-mill air bike too. Now onto the appearances of the bike. In typical Rogue fashion, everything on the EcoBike is coated in their signature black powder coat. This allows the bike to fit in with most people's equipment and last a long time. This is a high-end exercise bike that's loaded with features and made for serious home gym owners. The bike is literally built like a tank, and after owning it for over two years now, it still looks brand new. Now, one of the biggest perks of this bike is the maintenance requirement. In my time of owning, I have not performed a single ounce of maintenance on the machine other than spraying it down with some disinfectant. I'm not kidding, after two years, I've yet to perform any maintenance on the drivetrain, the pedals, the handles, the fan, or anything else. If you want a bomb-proof air bike, the EcoBike is as close as you're going to get. Now, the monitor. The monitor tracks every metric typically measured by air bikes, including the intervals, distance, and calories. I will say that it would have been nice to have a few more metrics available on the monitor. It would have been awesome for Rogue to partner with Concept2 and connect their performance monitors to their EcoBikes to be used for the worldwide leaderboard. However, it has quick select buttons on the right hand side of the monitor and is pretty easy to see during its use. Now let's discuss the in use experience on this bike. The resistance is different than your typical air bike due to the size of the fan blades. However, the calorie count is very similar fashion as that of the Assault air bike. If you're someone who likes to ghost ride on air bikes, you're probably not going to love the belt drive as it doesn't spin as freely as the chain drive. Having used the EcoBike and the Assault air bike frequently, I will say the workouts on the EcoBike is much harder, but thus much better in my opinion. So now after talking about all these great bike features, how much does it cost? The Rogue EcoBike comes in at a price tag of $795. There likely will be opportunities to get the bike on sale at certain times, as I was able to get my bike for $699. But I do think the price range is quite a bit of a steal compared to its competitors like the Salt Air Bike that usually goes for about $699. Now the last and most important thing to talk about with this bike are the workouts. The benefits of a fan bike really shine through the high intensity interval training workouts. The harder you work out on this bike, the more resistance you'll get. Few users seem to use the EcoBike for anything other than high intensity work. It seems to be a great machine, but a specialized one. However, I will say I do like to use this bike for also warm ups and cool downs. Now let's move on to the bike erg. Now as you can see, the Bikerg is not your typical air bike as there are no handles. However, just because there's no handles does not make it any less effective. One thing to note though is the majority of users actually spend most of their efforts pushing the pedals instead of using their arms on the typical air bike. While the Concept2 Bikerg does receive its resistance from air, it does have an entirely different feeling from the air-resisted EcoBike. Now Concept2. For those of you unaware, Concept2 is a company that manufactures the number one rower out there. In addition to the rower, Concept2 sells a ski erg, an equally effective piece of equipment as the rower. Nobody's creating conditioning equipment with attention to detail, quality, or performance like Concept2. The bike erg is a shining example of what a company can do when they focus on quality over quantity of products. 
Similar to Apple, Concept2 wasn't focused on creating hundreds of different products like its competitors. They were focused on creating a few and making them the best products in the world. This speaks volume to Concept2's three products of the rower, ski erg, and now their bike erg. Now when you take a first look at this bike, it might look a little odd to people. The housing on the equipment is now what I would call the most sleek. It looks pretty different compared to any other bike out there on the market, but maybe that was by design of Concept2. By looking different, it makes it stand out, it draws more of your attention, it makes you want to learn more about it. However, the looks of the bike are the least important part, as it's subjective, while the quality and performance are what matters most. So let's move on. Next, similar to the EcoBike, it does not operate with a traditional chain, but instead uses a polygroove belt. This not only makes the ride quieter, but also reduces the maintenance and increases the life of the bike. Now I haven't owned the bike or terribly long, but if it's anything like the Concept2 rower that I've owned for over three years, then I expect little to no maintenance being required on this machine. Now, one of my favorite features of this bike is the monitor. The Biker utilizes the latest performance monitor, the PM5, which allows you to access all of your data on any of Concept2's products, including the Biker. This data includes and is also displayed on the screen during the use, which includes your pace, watts, cadence, calories, time, and distance. As a data analytics nerd, I love it. All the data is stored and can easily be synced up on your phone or offloaded on your computer. Now, let's discuss the in-use experience on the bike. So on the front of the bike is the all-famous Concept2 fan flywheel and damper that has brought grueling workouts to millions around the world. I'd say the damper setting on the bike erg is truly unique when compared to other fan bikes, including the EcoBike. Similar to shifting gears on a regular bike, the damper can make the ride either like riding on a slight downhill by lowering the damper or like trudging up a hill on a higher damper. What this damper is doing is affecting how much air is allowed into the fan housing. This plays a significant role in a bike erg as the damper can take this bike from feeling like an eco bike to a spin bike with a lot of resistance. I will say from my own experience, the change in the damper setting on the bike erg feels much more dramatic than the Concept 2's other products. Not a complaint by any means but changing the damper from a 6 to a 9 is going to feel much harder on the bike erg than the change in the same damper setting on the rower. Now, the price tag. The Concept2 bike erg does come in a little bit of a higher price tag of $990. I know this is a lot of money, but I can honestly say it is well worth the investment. Now, time for the final recommendation. So when looking at the price alone, the Rogue EcoBike has the slight edge. When it comes to durability, it's close as I would expect little to no maintenance required for either piece of equipment. I'm calling this one a tie, as I've yet to do any maintenance on either the Rogue EcoBike or any of the Concept2 machines that I've owned. Next, the versatility is unmatched on the bike erg, and this is the reason why I would recommend this above any other air bike for most people. If you're training for the CrossFit Games, then having an EcoBike is recommended, but if you're looking for a bike for conditioning, intervals, high intensity interval training, sprints, warming up, recovery, the bike erg is the superior option. Then last, the monitor and data has to go to the bike erg with their more superior performance monitor and the ability to easily log and track all of your data. I left off categories in this final rating like looks of equipment as you're buying the equipment for performance and not just for what looks good in your home gym. But if you've used both these bikes, then which one do you prefer? Share your picks and your thoughts in the comments down below. To end here, if you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it and hit that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Be sure you catch my next video. Otherwise, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.